Hi, in this video, you'll learn about the SNPs, CMVs, and HLAs included in the Genetsis pharmacogenetic panel and their role in optimizing drug therapy. In our previous video, we talked about the different genes included in the Genetsis pharmacogenetic panel. Here, we will discuss the markers we use to identify genetic changes that may affect a patient's response to a drug. For most genes, we evaluate single nucleotide polymorphisms, or SNPs, and their copy number variation, or CMV. For human leukocyte antigens, or HLAs, we evaluate the presence or absence of a specific variation. When we compare the DNA of two unrelated individuals, we see that they are 99.9% .9 identical. Although the amount of genetic variability seems to be very small, these differences are what makes us unique. When these variations take place at a single base pair, we call them single nucleotide polymorphisms or SNPs. The different genetic variations or genotypes of some of these SNPs will have an effect on how we respond to drugs. Let's look at the following example of a change in a gene involved in drug metabolism. At this specific position of the DNA, there is a SNP that can be an adenine or a thymine, an A or a T in our diagram. If you have an adenine or an A, you will generate the functional form of the protein encoded by this gene, and therefore a normal drug metabolism. If you have a thymine or T, the protein encoded by this gene will be different, and you will be unable to process or metabolize a certain drug properly. If this happens, the drug will accumulate, and this could lead to severe adverse drug reactions. In some cases, these variations will not have an effect on the protein encoded by a gene. In other situations, the variation may cause a small effect but not large enough to change the response to a drug. Because of this, the Genetsis pharmacogenetic panel only focuses on SNPs that have a demonstrated clinical effect. The Genetsis pharmacogenetic panel includes 59 SNPs that allow us to make recommendations on the use of 116 drugs. One of these SNPs is RS4149056, in the SLCO1B1 gene. Normally, statins such as simvastatin are prescribed to patients with hyperlipidemia in order to reduce cardiovascular morbidity and mortality. However, patients with a variation at this specific position of the SLCO1B1 gene have a higher risk of simvastatin induced muscular disease. Therefore, a lower dose or an alternative statin should be recommended. Another example is RS1297986 in the IFNL3 gene. Compared to patients with no changes at this specific position of the IFNL3 gene, patients with this variation have a lower likelihood of response to PEC interferon alpha for the treatment of hepatitis C. For cytochrome P450 enzymes, such as CYP2D6, Several SNPs need to be evaluated in order to correctly predict how a patient will respond to a drug depending on their genetic information. The genotype of this series of SNPs is used to define the specific variant form or allele of a gene. In the Genetsis pharmacogenetic panel, 10 different SNPs are used to identify the 16 alleles of CYP2D6. Depending on the alleles of a patient, we can predict the activity of these genes and make recommendations on the treatment of several drugs. Every person carries two copies of each gene, one inherited from our mother and another one from our father. However, for some genes such as CYP2A SIDS and CYP2D SIDS, people can have more than one copy, while others can have a deletion. That is, they have no copy available. This, along with the genotype of the SNPs known to affect the function of these genes, will determine the drug response of a patient. For example, 
Let's think of a gene that encodes an enzyme that breaks down a specific drug. In a patient with a higher number of copies, there will be much more enzyme than normal, and the drug will be broken down or degraded faster. This means it will be unable to have a therapeutic effect. On the other hand, patients with a single copy will be unable to degrade this drug at a normal rate. This will result in the accumulation of this drug in their body, increasing the probability of an adverse drug event. Human leukocyte antigens, or HLAs, are a specific type of gene involved in the development of adverse drug reactions. They are also the most variable genes in our DNA. For instance, HLA-A and HLA-B, the two genes included in our panel, have up to 4,846 and 5,881 different gene variations, or alleles. When we compare this to CYP2D6, one of the most variable CYP enzymes, we can see the differences are quite significant. Because of this variability, we assess the presence of very specific HLA genotypes of, or alleles, HLA-A3101, HLA-B1502, HLA-B5801, and HLA-B4403. The presence of these alleles is very rare, however, the adverse drug reactions that are related to them can be quite severe. By testing for SNPs, CMVs, and HLAs, we are able to provide a comprehensive view of the genetic changes that affect drug response. We hope this video gave you a better picture of the Genesis pharmacogenetic test and how it works.